The content you are about to watch contains AI-generated voices of real-life individuals. The dialogue you hear in the video does not accurately represent the individuals depicted in the video. We hope you enjoy. Hey, welcome back, beautiful people. Come on, Barry. Enough with the introductions. Let's just get the video moving. We want more Pokemon Coliseum action. Yeah, let's get this episode rolling right away. I'm sure the viewers would like that too. Enter Joe Biden, the shadow Pokemon problem in Pyrite Town. All right, all right, let's get a move on then. It's your turn, Joe. I trust that you'll make good progress this episode, uh, I hope. Oh yeah, that's right. Don't worry, Barry. I won't let you down, I promise. Uh, by the way, are we going to be doing trainer school stuff this episode, or will that be for another time? I know there's trainers in there. We can battle for exp and even a gym leader. It's pronounced EXP Joey. But regarding the trainer school, let's save that for a later episode. We can beat the trainers in there right now, but we should save them for our shadow Pokemon to battle later so we can purify them quicker. Plus, the gym leader would stomp us at the moment, being he has level 40 Pokemon and a whole team to boot, too. We only have three currently. Oh, yeah, that wouldn't be fun at all. Fuck that. So what's our move now, then, George? So I'm sure you guys remember the red, blue, and green Power Ranger looking guys from the mayor's office. They're currently blocking off all exits to the city, so we need to beat one to progress. Our next team member is Typhlosion, so we're going to need to snag Quilava from the Red Ranger and beat him to get out of the city. So head to the right city exit where the trainer school was, Joey. Okie dokie, George. So, touching back on our team composition discussion from last episode. I thought about it a lot, but how about we throw in Ampharos onto the team? Their special attack is great, and their stats all around are just really good. Plus, Ampharos will be a good check against flying and water types. Plus, he's effectively weak to only one typing, and that's ground. You make a great point, Barry. I say we add them as our sixth member. I don't have any objections to it. Me neither. I guess that's decided then. So when can we expect to catch the rest of our team, George? The rest of them are all in Pyrite Town, so they're actually snaggable right after this battle. Oh, that's so perfect. We can finally get that cute and cuddly jump luff on the team. Yippee. Wow, I wasn't expecting us to be able to form our whole team so early on. That's actually pretty incredible. All right, just you wait, Ross, or we're going to snag the fuck out of your Kalava, and there's nothing you can do about it, you loser. Bro might as well just hand us the poke ball at this point to save himself the embarrassment. Well, I think it's safe to say that Confusion is going to absolutely beat that Grimer into submission. And he's down. Good job, Aurora. Hey, George, do you know how we can rename our Pokemon in this game? Shouldn't there be a name raider like there is in the mainline Pokemon games or something? I've been wondering that too, actually. I want us to actually name the Pokemon the names we rolled from viewer suggestions. Oh my god, did you guys see that spoink? Holy crap, they're so cute in this game, but yeah, I want to name my cute jump luff when we get them. Wait, he entered hyper mode? What's going on, George? Hyper mode is a state for shadow Pokemon that increases the critical chance of shadow rush greatly, making it almost guaranteed. Though, if you try to make them use a regular move, they won't do it. Whenever they enter hyper mode, just use that call option in the little action menu. Doing that will actually lower their shadow gauge or whatever. It basically opens up their heart faster so we can purify it. Oh, okay, I see, interesting. So the best play to make would be to just call the Pokemon like you said, got it. No, hang on, Aurora. Damn, Red Ranger here is ganging up on Aurora for real. If you make Aurora faint, so help me God, I'll touch you, Rosso. Whoa, relax, Joey, nobody needs to get touched here, all right? I'd feel bad for anyone who gets touched by Joey here with his sticky fingers, yuck. Oh, 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 is that a JoJo reference, Barry? I really like the Stan Sticky Fingers, it's so cool. That's a banger-ass anime and all, but no, that's not what he meant, Joey. Please make sure to wash your hands after this recording session since you got messy with your ice cream earlier, man. All right, all right, I'll make sure to wash my hands, boys, don't worry. Now watch me catch Kulava here on my first try, yeah? All right, we're watching you right now, Joey. You better not fumble now, my guy. I would think Joey here has a pretty high chance to catch it, I think. Half health, and he's using a great ball. Yeah, watch this shit, guys. And what did I tell you? I got this. All right, good catch, Joey. Good looks, Joey. Good luck on catching the rest of our team this episode. I believe in you, man. Yeah, good work, Joey. I was worried you'd struggle with the game, but I guess I didn't need to worry at all. You clearly got this. 
Thanks, guys. And sorry, Spunk, I hate to have to do this. But I need to beat the fuck out of you if I want to beat this guy. No hard feelings, you cute pig spring thing. Okay, why use confusion on a psychic type, Joe? Just use return, it'll probably do more damage. Oh shit, sorry, boys. I kind of turned my brain off there when throwing out attacks. Uh, return would probably do more damage than confusion here, huh? That's what Donald just said, Joe. Oh, okay, thank you, Donnie, you're so helpful. Uh, yeah, you're welcome, Joe. Anyways, while Joey here finishes up the battle, I'm gonna go ahead and throw out the question of the week for this video. All right, listen up, viewers. What is your favorite Pokemon move and why? Let us know in the comment section down below. My favorite move personally is Explosion. It's such a goddamn powerful move. And it's like a big screw you button in a battle. Uh, plus, Explosions are kind of cool. I think my favorite move would have to be Fire Blast. The attack looks so fucking cool and it's so strong too. I love putting it on my fire types when I play through any Pokemon game. I really love Hyper Beam. It's such a cool beam attack and it looks so powerful. I really like the move, Metronome. I love that it's a luck of the draw type of move, and you can basically pull out any kind of move in the game. It's always exciting when you manage to pull out a really powerful move, too. Excellent choices, boys. Metronome is pretty damn fun to use, George, not gonna lie. All right, it's time to touch this fucker. Pull your pants down now. Oh, hell no, relax, Joe. The dudes is fucking defeated already. Just let him wallow in his defeat, man. Fine, you're off the hook for now, fucker. Bro really just took off into the desert, ha 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 ha. Well, while he's running away like a bitch, let's go ahead and roll a name for Quilava here. All right, Quilava's name will be Chocolate Chocolate Chip. Thank you, Cranjism C Basketball Wunks Team 38 for the name suggestion, but it'll have to be Chip for short because of the character limit. Oh, Chocolate Chocolate Chip is such a cute name, oh my God, I love it. You're gonna be with us forever, Chip. Hold your horses, Joey. Let's go back and hit up the Pokemon Center since our Pokemon are weakened right now. We definitely need to do that before we start picking battles with other people in Pyrite Town. Oh, shoot. Yeah, you're right, George. My bad, guys. I was just so excited to get to Pyrite Town that I completely forgot the Pokemon are exhausted. Let's go get this out of the way then. We might as well save our game while we're here too. Good thinking, Joey. Also, I want to bring it to your attention, viewers, that uh, we had a little accident in real life involving our memory card. A certain Sleepy Joe might have misplaced our original memory card, so I had to get a backup one from eBay. So if you notice our Pokemon from Episode 1 have different stats and abilities, then that's why. We're really sorry about that. We'll try not to let something like this happen again. Okay, like how the fuck did you even manage to lose the memory card, Joe? I don't know, guys. I was switching them out like Obama told me too, since we were gonna play some Mario Kart Double Dash last night. I remember leaving it on the counter and right when I get back, I realized it was gone. I swear I have no idea where it could have gone. It's so strange. Man, fuck me for having all of my Mario Kart Double Dash data on a separate memory card. Well, I guess it can't be helped at this point. Don't worry, Barry. I'm sure we'll find your memory card soon. Maybe Joey here left it in a different spot and he's misremembering. I'm sure it's gotta be in the house somewhere, so it'll show up when you least expect it. Yeah, you're right, George. Well, don't worry about it so much, Joey. Stuff like this happens, so let's forget about it for now and enjoy some Pokemon Coliseum, guys. All right then, onwards to Pyrite Town, Joey. Woohoo! onwards! Wow, uh, this town looks pretty fucking run down, doesn't it? Yeah, this town looks sketchy as fuck. It sure does. Oh, who are those guys? Well, that guy definitely looks like a policeman, Joey. So that's half of your question answered so far. And his name is Mr. Johnson. We gotta remember that. Oh, okay, so that guy's name is Kale. I'm guessing he's going to be somewhat of an important character. Seems like he gets into a lot of trouble with Mr. Johnson, seeing as he's pleading to him that he's innocent about something. Shit, he's letting him off the hook just like that. You're fired! Yeah, Mr. Johnson isn't exactly the greatest policeman out there. Ha 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 ha. Oh, hell no. I'd have to march right back over to him and beat his ass for a sly comment like that when I'm just out of hearing range. Hmm, I'm gonna try talking to him and see what he says to us. Man, this guy's really asking for it with that kind of attitude. I wish we could battle him and knock him flat on his ass. Okay, I see a lot of trainers here, George. 
Which ones do we go after right now? There's quite a couple of trainers here with Shadow Pokemon, but for now we're only gonna fight two so we can keep the story flowing in this episode. Okay, Joey, see that trainer there with the top hat and pink skirt? Walk up to them and battle them first. They've got one of our team members. Oh, okay, they look pretty adorable, actually. I like the outfit they've got on. Yeah, show us your Pokemon's moves. I bet they're not better than ours. <laughs> Flaffy and Shroomish, not bad. I wonder which one is our shadow Pokemon, though. I'm thinking Flaffy is probably it. Yeah, I think so too. All right, time for you to lock in, Joey. Joey used lock on. Okay, that was pretty clever, Joey. Nice one. Yeah, I figured that was the one since it's on the shadow Pokemon list. All right, you've got this, Joey. Snag the ever-living fuck out of that Flaffy. You got it, boss. Go ahead, Aurora. Assist Queso in beating that dude's ass. I still can't believe we actually rolled Case O as a name for Makuhita. That is literally so fucking perfect. <laughs> It'd be funnier if every time our Case O got a knockout, Case O saying banned would play. That'd be the most hilarious shit ever, I swear. Damn, Case O got fired up hearing that shit. Ha 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 ha. I'll have to calm him down next turn. Speaking of getting fired up, I'm honestly in the mood to fire up some burgers on the grill. You down for some burgers, fellas? Oh, hell yeah. I'm always down for a good burger. Flame grilled over some wood, right, Barry? You bet your ass they're grilled over some wood, Donnie. If there's anything that can send me straight to food heaven, it's those wood flame grilled burgers of yours, Barry. Oh yeah, that shit is the fucking bomb. I'll take two burgers, please. Two for me as well, please. I'll take three burgers, please. All right, noted. I'll get the burgers started after this recording session. Oh, fuck yeah, this trainer is fucking stupid. Get that flaffy, weakened Joey and catch him while they're paralyzed. Hold on, let me take care of that dumbass shroomish first so he can stop being annoying. He keeps fucking sucking me, man. The fuck? I mean, uh, absorbing me. Oh, hell nah, Joe, that was sussy as fuck. You know Obama wasn't gonna overlook that one. Ha 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 ha, you're a damn goofball, Joey, I swear. Look, it's okay, guys. I just knocked out that stupid mushroom bush looking thing and singled out Flaffy. Now I can focus on catching it and adding it to our team. Watch, the Pokemon Catching Master is currently at work. All right, Pokemon Catching Master, let's see this work that you're putting in. You know, I honestly underestimated the synchronize ability on Espeon. Because of that, it probably made Flaffy here a hell of a lot easier to catch, thankfully. Damn, Queso took a lot of damage from Shadow Rush there. Sheesh. Yeah, and I'm about to repay the favor against their Flaffy. Hopefully this doesn't knock them out and only leaves them on half HP. It'll be an easy catch if I can get it to play out the way I want it to with Flaffy being at half HP. All right, good shit, Joey. They're in catching range now. That was probably a good thing Aurora couldn't attack there. They probably would have killed Flaffy there. Yeah, honestly. I'm glad things are playing out this way so far. All right, good work, Aurora and Queso. You both have done excellent in this battle. Since Queso doesn't need to attack anymore, I might as well call him to get him out of hyper mode. And while I do that, I'll use Aurora's turn to throw a great ball at Flaffy and snag it. All right, watch the magic, fellas. And there you have it, folks. Caught him on the first try. All right, well done, Joey. Good shit, Joey. You're on a roll with these one poke ball captures, my guy. Yeah. Now do that with the next trainer we're gonna fight. They're right next to the street performer trainer we just fought. They're wearing a red jumpsuit with a hat on. Can't miss them. Oh yeah, you're right, George. They stick out like a sore thumb for sure. I'll talk to them after reading this dialogue here. Okay, I actually didn't know that Shadow Rush ignored the typings of Pokemon. Interesting. Yeah, come to think of it. It is quite strange that these random trainers on the street have shadow Pokemon in their party. I mean, this can't be a coincidence, right? Somebody is definitely supplying the trainers here with shadow Pokemon 100%. You think there could be some organization running some kind of scheme from the shadows, Donnie? I don't think it's that far-fetched to say that someone or some group is doing some sinister shit here in this town. Donnie is definitely on to something here. I doubt Team Snagum is behind any of this too, considering snagging is kind of their thing. Why would they give shadow Pokemon to people? 
It just doesn't make sense. It's got to be the work of that mirror. B guy we saw back in Fenix City. Oh shit, you forgot to heal up, Joey. Oh fuck, you're right. Oh well, we'll still win. Just believe in Joe, fellas. Good One Piece reference, Joey. I really need to continue my One Piece reading binge. Last I remember, I was reading through the Wano country arc. That shit fucking bangs. Let me know what you think of that arc when you finish reading it, Barry. Fucking damn it, man. Of course he puts Queso's fat ass to sleep, man. Well, on the bright side, Joey, at least Aurora is going to one-shot the Oddish, so they'll be down at least. That's true. Guess it ain't so bad then. Oh, yeah. I've been meaning to ask you guys this, but when are we going to go back to playing Super Mario Sunshine? I've seen some comments asking that. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we should get back to playing that series too, shouldn't we? Don't worry, viewers. We'll be playing Super Mario Sunshine again really soon. Next video is going to be a new Let's Play series. And then the next video will be a Super Mario Sunshine upload, so you can look forward to that. Sorry it's taken so long for another upload of that game. For those who want to see us continue it, we just wanted to play other games for a while. We hope you understand. Yeah, sometimes you just need to take a break from playing a certain game sometimes. Whoa, oh my God, don't drain my balls, Skip Loom. Joe, try not to be so challenged. Difficulty, impossible tier. Yeah, what the fuck is your problem today, Joe? You've been acting super sus this whole recording session. What do you guys mean? I feel the same as always. Are you guys doing all right? Oh, hell now. You're not pulling an Uno reverse card on us, buddy. Just focus on the game for now, Mr. Pokemon Master. I think Joey is finally jumping off the deep end, Barry. Hey, man, I'm not crazy. I'm just being my usual goofy self, fellas. Plus, I think the viewers find it funny, don't you guys? How many fucking times is this Skip Loom going to shoot sleeping powder at us, for Christ's sake? But anyways, yap, yap, yap. Just beat the shit out of her and catch that skip loom, Joey. I think this battle is starting to make me lose brain cells. Okay, finally we can start catching this cute and cuddly fucking thing. I can't believe how long it took for that dust ox to die, man. That thing was seriously getting on my nerves. Yeah, tell me about it. Same here. No fucking way. Damn, well I guess I can't fault you too much, Joey. Skip loom's not even half health or hit with a status effect. Well, he is half health now at least, ha 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 ha. Maybe you can try and lower him into the red to make catching him easier, Joey? Hmm, since they're in the yellow now, I'm gonna try and throw another great ball at him. If he breaks out of this one too, then I'll try and lower him into the red without making him faint. Well, here goes, hopefully this one makes the catch. There we go, baby. That's it. Fuck yeah. Good shit, Joey. God damn. Finally, the battle is over. Good job, Joey. That was some good Pokemon wrangling out there, Joey. Good work. Now she should throw it back for the viewers here for real. You're lucky I'm refraining from knocking your ass out again only because it's your turn to play this episode. It's all in good fun, Barry. But look, we finally got our whole team assembled, and it's all because of my hard work. You're welcome, guys. Damn. That's some sexual undertones right there, man. What the fuck was Genius Sonority thinking here? Ha 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 ha! Yeah, head towards the Coliseum, Joey. I think that's where we gotta trigger some kind of story event. Damn, that dude on the right is jacked as fuck. He's more jacked than Gonzap is, man. I'd still beat his ass, though. Yeah, I highly doubt that. Well, I'm gonna heal the team up real quick while we're in here, I guess. By the way, gentlemen, uh, things can get kind of confusing here because there's different places we gotta go to to get the story moving. And I don't remember what to do entirely so we might need to do some cuts coming up. All good, George. I'm sure we'll figure it out in a timely manner. <laughs> that was so fucking cartoony how he ran in, crashed into us, and then started spinning like that. Johnson is one goofy guy, I swear. Yeah, I definitely see this guy getting fired eventually. He definitely seems incompetent, but at least he's got the spirit for the job, I guess. Hmm, I think it's safe to say that older gentleman at the desk there is the police chief. I wonder if he can help us uncover what's going on in this town. Yeah, go walk up to him and talk to them, Joey. Maybe they'll know something that we don't. Hiya, Shirley's. Got any info on the whole Shadow Pokemon shenanigans happening in this town? Damn, bro really wants us to skip town. I mean, at least he's showing concern for our safety. But really, we need to stay in order to get to the bottom of what's going on here. Fuck you, you wrinkly dickhead. We're gonna get to the bottom of what's going on here by staying on top of it. Oh wow, nice line reference from that one Scooby-Doo movie special with Batman and Robin in it, Donnie. 
Haha, <laughs> thanks. I really like that line. Oh, are y'all talking about that 70s Scooby-Doo movie with Batman in it? Oh, I really loved watching those back in my 30s. Same here. Anyways, let's search in the back here and see if there's any items we can pick up. Well, I see a whole lot of nothing so far. They seriously give you the option to free that fucker? Unreal, ha 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 ha. Oh shit, it's Trudley and Folly and they got captured by the police, ha 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 ha. What fucking morons. Okay, so they were scared of Mirror B that much that they would rather turn themselves into the police than go back and face him. Damn, can't say I blame them though. They're probably better off being here. Well, at least they're behind bars, I guess. Yeah, they won't be troublesome shitheads anymore for the time being. I still find it funny they turned themselves in because they were that scared of their boss. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, right? Ha 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 ha. All right, this is where we need to be now. Go ahead and talk to the guy at the desk. Okay, dickhead, you totally look really busy right now. Interact with the shelf, Joey. Okie dokie, George. Yeah, that kind of pissed me off a bit, Donnie. Like all he's doing at his desk is sitting there with his arms crossed. Yeah, you are totally busy, all right. The fuck dude has a secret tunnel in his home? Crazy as shit, but yeah, fucking Barry. Ooh, hello, youngins. Oh, they all look so adorable. What are you all doing back here? Having your own personal cave hideout thing is kind of cool, not gonna lie. Are we not gonna question why the fuck there's a secret cave back here with some random ass children hiding in it? No? Yeah, I was thinking the same shit, Donnie. But they're the kids of duking, I guess. Hopefully he's not some fucking weirdo or something. Oh, what's happening out here? Just read the dialogue, Joey. Okay, the dude is throwing some pussy allegations his way, understood? Whoever that dude is, he's pressing the fuck out of Duke and damn! There we go, he went for the table slam. Dude is seriously pissed off. Better to be pissed off than pissed on, I guess. I'm pretty sure Mirror B is pissing on all of us right now due to his chokehold on Pyrite Town right now, Joey. Oh shit, we gotta stop that. Quick, does anyone have any idea on where his hideout could be? It has to be in town somewhere. Look, Joey, we don't have any clues to go off of other than Mirror B has something to do with the Coliseum here. Wait, I've got an idea, guys. This might be a wild ass goose chase we're going on, but something tells me that we need to talk to that one NPC who was standing alone in the Coliseum receptionist area. How about we try going back there and seeing what he says? Already on it, Barry. Good thinking, Barry. Hopefully you're right about this. All right, let's see what this guy has to say. Okay, I see where this is going now. Ha 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 ha. Thanks for telling us your secret, dumbass. Looks like we got to pay Kale another visit, fellas. All right, onwards to the beginning of town, gentlemen. All right, there he is, boys. Let's get him. Yeah, show us your weird Pokemon, or else I'm going to have to get weird with you. All right, I guess we're battling this guy now. This is the final showdown. The amazing Pokemon snagger, Joe Biden versus Kale, the weird green-haired looking fuck who lurks the Pyrite town streets. Oh God, shield your eyes, Joey. Oh man, if only we could catch a Ralts, man. We'd evolve it into such a beautiful Gardevoir. Holy shit. What happened to being a changed man, Joe? Oh, uh, what do you mean, Barry? I am a changed man. Gardevoir is nice, but uh, Jump Luff is better. Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah, totally. <laughs> We're gonna have to put an ankle monitor or some shit on Joey so he doesn't diddle any Gardevoirs and shit. Oh, come on, you guys. You've got to trust me, man. That's totally unnecessary to have to do that for me. Anyways, football season is right around the corner, guys. Are you gonna be watching any teams, NFL or college? Oh, hell yeah, the Chicago Bears all the way, man. I'm hoping they do good this season. You know, I'll be rooting for the New England Patriots all the way. The Philadelphia Eagles are gonna go ham this year. I just know it, boys. And you know I've got to represent, fellas. The Dallas Cowboys are gonna wrangle up this season real good, I tell you what. Well then, may the best football team win. You fucking serious? Come on, Queso, land those cross chops, my guy. Bro needs to get his fat little ass in gear. This is a battle we need to win. Well, at least we're making some progress in the battle now. Aurora is going to get the kill on Ralts here with return for sure. So that'll be one Pokemon down. Wow, I spoke way too soon, damn. Well shit.
Mm, well, I guess I'll just throw in Flaffy here. They do need to get some battle experience too so we can purify them. Great idea, Joey. We need to get them evolved as soon as possible. Hopefully that Agate Village place isn't too far in the story. As far as I remember, it shouldn't be too far. Okay, these cross chops missing is getting kind of ridiculous. How much accuracy does this damn move even have? It has 80 accuracy, Joey. I guess that explains it, huh? Damn, no wonder Queso keeps on fucking missing. Coupled with bad luck and 80 accuracy, no wonder the move has been missing so much. Well, I'm gonna paralyze that stupid ass ferret now so we can at least start working on snagging it. Hopefully we'll get it on the first poke ball we throw. Well, at least he's going to land cross chop now, finally. And good thing it didn't kill two. He should be ready for a snagging attempt now, Joey. Oh yeah, you bet your ass I'm gonna go for the snag attempt right now. Anything to downsize this guy's team at this moment. That great ball should be enough for a capture. I'd be fucking surprised if he broke out of this one. Well, here goes. Please don't play hard to get, please. All right, I'm about to strangle the fuck out of this stupid ass thing like how Homer strangles Bart from The Simpsons. I'm with you on that one, Barry. If the next Pokeball doesn't catch this thing, I'm gonna go absolutely fucking ballistic. Well, damn, at least that Ralts is down for the count now. Something I really appreciate about this game is that every Pokemon has a unique attack and fainting animation and stuff like that. That's how you know lots of effort were put into these games, man. Makes you wonder where all that love and effort went. Yeah, man. I think the last game I played was Pokemon Sword and Shield on Switch. Don't get me wrong, I thought it was all right. But it just didn't hit the same as the older games, like Pokemon Emerald, Black and White, Heart Gold, and Soul Silver. You get what I mean? I definitely feel that, Barry. I'm not sure if the mainline games truly had a decline in quality, or maybe we're just blinded by our nostalgia goggles. Every time I try to play a newer title, I end up just going back to an older game. Fuck yeah. Good work, Joe. Nice work, Good man. Good stuff, Joey. Thanks, boys. Feels good to finally have that ferret off the field. But yeah, back to our discussion from before. I share that same opinion with you guys. I tried to play Pokemon Legends, Arceus, when it came out, and it was just too different for my liking. I mean, don't get me wrong, the game is not bad by any means, I think. But I did think about playing some Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver instead or something. Hmm, what do you think, viewers? Let us know in the comments what your thoughts are on the current state of the Pokemon series. Please remember to be kind and respectful. Remember, we're all Pokemon fans here, and we shouldn't fight. Yeah, the last thing I'd want is people waging a flame war in the comments. That'd be pretty awful. I know Sushums wouldn't want it either. Same for the rest of us. So let's keep things civil, guys, all right? But moving back to the game at hand. That's a bummer that Kalava doesn't have a fire move yet. We'd knock out that C dot real fast if we did. Yeah, looks like we're gonna have to plow our way through this battle with Shadow Rush attacks. I love that C dot spun around like a top to attack. God, it gives them so much personality. I can't stress enough how good these games are. I love that the Pokemon have so much personality and feel so alive in these games. I agree. I feel like these games don't get the attention they truly deserve. I'm enjoying Pokemon Coliseum so far, and I feel like Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness is probably gonna be even more amazing when we get to it. Oh yeah, I'm fucking loving the shit out of this game. Thank you for the recommendation, George. Well, that leaves CDOT the only Pokemon he has left. And uh, yeah, I'm loving the game so far, George. We're definitely gonna play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness next. Oh yeah, that game is gonna be a real treat. I can't wait for us to get to it but we're gonna be patient because we've got a long game ahead of us, fellas. Shit, I'm enjoying the journey so far. We'll get there when we get there. Anyways, I'm pretty sure we got the battle all wrapped up now. Two shadow rushes should be enough to knock out that C dot. And there we go. Good stuff, Joey. Oh shit, I almost forgot. We need to pick names for Flaffy and Skip Loom here. Oh damn, I totally forgot about that, Barry. Yeah, I'm glad one of us remembered. I totally forgot to. Damn, and I thought I was the one with dementia, sheesh. You are that guy with dementia, Joey. Holy shit, I am? Jesus Christ, man, how did I get that? Uh, don't worry about it, Joey. You're fine. Anyways, since we've defeated Kale now, I think this should probably continue the story for us, I imagine. 
I knew Mirror B had some kind of hand in giving this dude a shadow Pokemon. I fucking knew it. Okay, so if Kale was a tournament winner in the Pyrite Coliseum, then that must mean that Mirror B is probably maybe giving winners shadow Pokemon as some sort of reward for winning. Okay, yup. Kale just confirmed it for us. Mirror B and his goons have control over the Coliseum, so they are distributing shadow Pokemon to winners. But why, though? I don't get it. Oh, so that's where they've been hiding out all this time? Damn. Wait a fucking minute. It's that Sephiroth-looking motherfucker from Phoenix City. Damn, I knew his ass looked evil the second I laid eyes on him. I still don't quite understand what their goal is here. Why give random trainers shadow Pokemon? Shouldn't they be supplying their own goons with shadow Pokemon to enforce their will over others? Whatever their plan is, I really want to know what it entails. Whatever their stupid plan is, I'm going to roundhouse kick Mirror B in the fucking head, and then I'm going to choke, slam the fuck out of that Sephiroth poser. Ha 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 ha! Oh, I'd love to see that. Donnie is going to realize that he probably knows Kung Fu or some shit and lose. He won't be performing any of that Kung Fu shit on me when I have Quilava use flamethrower or something. His ass will be fucking toast. Ha 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 ha! You're hilarious, Donnie. Anyways, well, I guess we'll figure out what their plan is after we find Mirror B or something. We're probably going to have to find that cave and go after him. That's going to have to wait till next episode, I'm afraid. Donnie will be taking the reins when that time comes. Anyways, let's pull up the wheel picker and see what names we fish up. All right, so we've got Biscuit for Flaffy. And then we've got Happy for Skip Loom. Thank you, Blowy Biscuit 651 and Slick Rick Gaming 1102 for the wonderful name suggestions. For those who didn't get their names picked, don't worry. We will use these lists of names you suggested to pull from for possible new team member replacements and for future series, stuff like that. If you enjoyed the video you just watched today, why not stay a while? Leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Check out some of our other videos too. You might like those as well. Remember to take good care of yourselves, Space Cowboys. And with that, the presidents are signing off. We'll be seeing you later, guys.